Hey there folks, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope things are going well for y'all. So in this episode here, we're gonna go over a conversion from a steel cutting edge to a UHMW cutting edge, plastic, on a, a snowplow, okay? And one of the cool things is that you can get this on eBay, it can ship right to you. You can get it in different nominal sizes to fit your plow. You can also get it for skid runners if you do have a snow blower. So check this guy out, I'll put the link below. And if you haven't done so yet, would you please take a moment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, make sure you check out my website, goodworkstractors.com, and here we go. So I've been wanting to replace that steel edge on my snowplow for my X739 back at home and uh, get rid of the steel and get into a rubber or plastic poly type cutting edge of some kind, you know, and I just hadn't made up my mind on the route to go. They all seemed kind of expensive, you know, for, for what they are, and um, they all have pros and cons, that kind of thing, but... I just don't like the steel scraping edge on my concrete drive. You know, the first year I used it, I definitely did notice a little bit of damage on seams and edges, that kind of thing, and I just don't want that to continue. So I finally did a lot of searching and everything else, and on eBay of all places, found a guy who actually has his own store on there, and he sells UHMW uh, plastic, you know, cutting edges and skid runners and things like that. And so you can get them in 48, 54, whatever length you want, really. He can, if you don't see the size that you want, just send him a note and he'll get back to you and he'll tell you the price. And so the 72 inch, which is a half inch thick by 72 inches long, was 60 bucks plus 10 bucks shipping. So 70 bucks delivered to me. Came in a couple of days. The guy's based maybe in Ohio. I can't remember for sure, but uh, wasn't very far away from me. UHMW, even though I didn't really know what it is, I knew that it was generally one of the most expensive types of material for a cutting edge. But I also knew that it had some great properties. Some of those properties include a low coefficient of friction, meaning it'll glide and slide very smoothly on your plowing surface. It's also highly abrasion resistant. It doesn't absorb water. Some sites that I looked at out there said it's six times harder than steel. So anyways, that's not even the full list of the properties and benefits of that material, but those are some of them that really apply to snow plowing, snow blowing, that kind of thing. So again, you can add this to uh, your cutting edge for your snow plow. You can add this to skid runners, like skid shoes, on the end of your snow blower, for instance, or even if you have a, um, a snow pusher, perhaps. One of the other cool things I found is that this guy actually has extensions for the end of the snow plows. Now, I think, if I remember right, his were six inches each versus nine. And so you're gonna end up with 66 inches wide versus 72, but it's another option for you. I think they were a little cheaper than Superior Techs. But the two inch height gives you enough material to be able to flip that over once it wears down and use the other side as well. A lot of the other UHMW blades that I saw out there were very expensive, way more expensive than this. And a lot of them are designed for plow trucks and other types of plows that are a lot bigger. And so they'd be six, eight, 10 inches tall and maybe an inch, inch and a half thick, and I don't think I need that for the snowplow here in this application, but I guess time will tell. So it turns out I thought one trip to the hardware store would, would take care of it all. Ended up needing a couple of them. Um, turns out that the one bolt that I, that I brought with me was not representative of all the bolts in the entire plow blade, so Superior Tech used a different size than what was found in the, the main plow blade there. So fortunately, the hardware store is right around the corner from me. I ended up getting inch and a half long bolts, and then I got some fender washers as well. So originally, I did not get fender washers, and when I went to, to really tighten them down, they were actually sinking down into the, they were drawing down into the plastic edge itself, and I really didn't like that. So I returned those and got fender washers, and those seemed to help. So I went ahead and just drilled a single round hole for my holes in the plow edge here. I had thought about slotting them, that way I could kind of loosen it up and slide the edge down a little bit more and then get more life out of it that way before I have to flip it over and use the other side. Um, I actually kind of messed up on one of the holes and so there's an, off, <laughs> an offset hole on one of them on the far end. But um, I may try doing that once this edge wears down. I don't know how long it'll take to wear, but I expect it to last quite a while. And so how it always goes is you get something set up, ready for snow removal, you're excited, you get a new snow blower, a snow pusher, a snow plow, whatever it is, you get it ready to go, and then what happens? Well, let's see, our entire 10 day forecast, the highs are in the mid 40s. So when are we gonna get some snow? So much for a white Christmas.
Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, check out the website, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.